Emily is an emerald green tender engine who has lived on the island of Sodor for quite a while. She is proud to have great big driving wheels and a very tall bow. Whenever she sees someone in a muddle, Emily offers to help them out. One morning, Thomas, Percy and Emily were friend and dogs, waiting for a surprise for them. What do you think this surprise could be, Thomas? I'm not sure, Emily. I hope it's someone who's coming to visit us. I do hope it could be a hero. I'm hoping it's Gator. I haven't seen him in ages. Hello there, everyone. I'm here. Hello, Lord Jahan. Welcome to Sodor. Oh, that's what the surprise was. Do you two know each other? Yes, Percy. I met Lord Jahan when I travelled to India. Nice to see you again, Thomas. Are those your Sodor friends? Yes. Their names are Percy and Emily. Oh my! You look wonderful with all those decorations! Thank you very much. Everyone back in India loves my decorations. They make me look splendid. I bet everyone on Sodor will love your beautiful looks. Wow, those decorations look wonderful on you. Aye, they look spot on. Come on, Lord Johan. Let's go to Napford. You'll see our controller there, and he'll give you your first job on Sodor. Nor Jahan followed Thomas and Emily to Napoli, where the fat controller was waiting for them. Ah, you must be Nor Jahan. I was expecting you to arrive yesterday. Yes, sir. Sorry, sir. The ship I was on got delayed a bit with the rough sea waters. But luckily, I'm here at last. Well, if that's the case, I would like you to take some passengers to Ulstead Castle. Emily will show you the way. Alright, sir. We're going to have great fun together, nor Jahan. Thanks, Emily. Where can I get some coaches? I'll show you the shunting yards. Thomas showed nor Jahan the shunting yard next to the station where some coaches were in the siding. You can use these long coaches, as they're the only ones available. That's perfect. I have found coaches like these back in India. Soon, Emily and Lord Jahan were making their way to Olstead Castle. And the two engines started to talk a lot along the way. What was it like working in India? India has one of the biggest populations in the world. I've always been taking passengers in safari tours. That sounds exciting! What animals did you see? There are tigers, monkeys, goats, elephants, and many more. Wow, that is a lot of animals. At Olstead Castle, James had bought some castle supplies for the elf when he saw Emily arriving onto the platform. Hello, Emily. Who's behind you? James, this is Noor Jahan. She's come all the way from India. Why do you have so many decorations on you? Because of a very splendid looking engine. You don't like my decorations? No, it's not that. I thought I was the only splendid engine on the island. Everyone admires my paintwork. Everyone is special in their own way, James. You need to get back to Dafford straight away. As James was about to leave, Stephen and Millie arrived. They thought Lord Jahan looked very splendid and he was. Is that a new engine? Certainly. You're very splendid. What's your name, by the way? I'm Lord Jenna. I hope you like my looks. We sure do. They look wonderful. Hey! Isn't anybody going to admire my beautiful paintwork? Sorry, James. You don't have any decorations on you. <sighs> Tell us, what country you come from? Well, I have come from India. It has a very big population. As James went on with his work, everywhere he went, he could hear other engines talking about Lord Jahan. She has the best looks, and she probably has the center of attention. 
Wow. She does sound like a special engine. So, Timothy, what did you see at the docks that caught your eye? Is it a long line of empty trucks with the clay pits? Well, I did see a diesel engine this morning. She had so many decorations all over her. Wow! Hey, Stafford, did you see that new engine go by with Emily? I sure have, Henry. She looks so beautiful. Oh, will you two please stop talking about naughty or harm? It's getting so tiring, and I really don't want anyone to know about her anymore. But James, we're only admiring of how nice she looks. Well, I don't care what anyone says about that engine. I'm going back to my ship, and I'm not coming out again until she leaves the island. Good day. James puffed sadly away to Tidmouth Sheds and stayed in this berth, sulking. He wished he didn't hear the other engines talk about Lord Jahan. I thought I must be the only splendid engine on Sodor, and now there's a new engine who's taken my reputation too far. I shall not come out of the shed until she goes back to where she came from. Just then, Emily arrived at the sheds. She could see James feeling left alone. Hello, James. What's wrong? Please, leave me alone, Emily. I don't want to show my looks until that engine is gone. But James, it doesn't matter how everyone looks. It's what you do to be really useful that matters. But everyone will dislike my paintwork even if that diesel stays on the island. Don't worry, James. The fat controller is letting Norje Hand stay in Nefford Sheds during her visit. You mean, she's only visiting? Yes, I'm sure you'll be able to come out of your shed at some point. That night, as the engines gathered in the sheds, Lord Jahan pulled into view. Look, everyone, it's the new engine. Welcome to Tim and Lord Jahan. Thanks, Nia. Is it alright if I can sleep here tonight? The shed and up with a full, and I need a place to sleep. <sighs> you could take my berth. I'm just going to go and sleep outside in the siding next to the shed. What's wrong with James? He is just jealous that you're getting more attention than he is. I tried to tell him that everyone is special in their own ways, but it just seems that he won't listen to my advice. Poor James, I hope he feels better soon. As Lord Jahan took James's birth, Everyone was fast asleep. But poor James had to sleep outside the shed. It was cold and lonely. I don't think anyone will like my paintwork if Noah Jahan is still around. I wish there was a way for me to be splendid again. The next morning, the Fat Controller was surprised to see Noah Jahan at Tidmouth instead of Knapford. Noah Jahan, what are you doing here? Shouldn't you sleep at Knapford? Sorry, sir. The sheds were full, so I had to sleep here instead. James Louis took his place while he slept outside in the siding. That's next to the sheds. Well, I don't see James anywhere. Where did James go? I don't know where he had gone to, Percy. Don't worry, everyone. I'll go and find James for you, sir. Good idea, Emily. And if you do, bring him to Knapford, as I have an important job for him to do. All right, sir. I won't let you down. Emily chuffed off to look for James. She wished she could understand about everyone's differences. I do hope I can find James somehow. Emily soon found James at the washdown, but he was still feeling left out from Lord Jahan's arrival. There you are, James. What are you doing here? <sighs> Hello, Emily. Why don't you come to my favourite spot on the island? The Fat Controller has a very special job for you. You must go to Nefford straight away. Does he? Well, I hope it's an extra special one. When James returned to Nefford, the Fat Controller and Lord Jahan were waiting for him. James, thank goodness you've arrived. What job is it that you want me to do, sir? 
I need you to take some passengers to Ulstead Castle with no Jan. But you'll get more attentive than me, sir. That's a point, James. If the passengers see how clean you look from your washdown, then they might be able to admire your shininess. <gasps> Do you really think so? Thanks, James. Can you pull the boat just while I go in front? All right. Well, it sounds like a splendid plan. Soon, James was finally enjoying his trip to Alstead Castle with Noor Jahan. When the two engines arrived, Emily was there waiting when she saw them arrive. As the passengers got out, they admired Noor Jahan's decorations and were amazed to see how shiny James's paintwork was. What do you think, James? Wow! Everyone really likes my shiny paintwork after all! You see, James, I told you everyone is different in their special ways. And I think you two will work splendidly together during Lord Jahad's visit. The owl was right. James and Lord Jahan soon became good friends. And they even got to work together during Lord Jahan's visit to Sodor. A few weeks later, it was time for Lord Jahan to go home to India. We'll miss you when you've gone, Lord Jahan. And it was splendid working with you two. Thanks, everyone. I'm ready back. I'm home to India now. Goodbye. When Noor Jahan returned to her country, her Indian friends were happy to have her home. Noor Jahan, you're home! Welcome back, Noor Jahan! We've been missing you so much! Thanks, everyone! I've had a good time working on the island of Sodor. Tell us about your time on Sodor! We've been wanting to hear about it for a long time. Do you think you can allow me to visit Sodor one day, Jarabalabam? I'll think about it, Rocky. Right now, I'll be happy that Noor Jahan has come home. And so, Noor Jahan told her friends about how she became friends with Emily, and how she and James look different from being splendid, and learning about how everyone has their differences in their own ways.